inspired by math, inspired by our mathematicians, we are celebrating Copraker in this series. We look into the best way of solving magic squares and discover the mystery behind magic squares. What if I told you there is a way to arrange numbers from 11 to 19 into a perfect square where every row, column and diagonal adds up to the same total. This isn't just addition, a secret pattern hidden inside a grid. Welcome to the world of magic squares where every number matters and the sum is always just right. Let's uncover the magic woven between 11 and 19. We'll discover a method of patterns in magic square which no one has ever shared with you in this particular video. So let's see how do we place all the digits from 11 to 19 in this magic square. So let's write down all these nine digits first. So these are 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Now, we are going to make pairs. So let's pair up 11 with 19. Why? Let me use two different colors. 12 with 18. Thirteen with seventeen, fourteen with sixteen, fifteen is left. Well, there were nine digits, so four can be paired, one will be left. So what is left comes right there in the center, which is in this case fifteen. Now can you tell me what is going to be the sum? of rows, columns and diagonals in this case? Well, it is going to be 15 times 3, which is 45. Do you see how we are approaching magic squares? I don't think anybody has approached in this particular way ever before, except Copperaker. Great. Now see, we have the other pairs and uh, I've colored them. Odd pairs are with green, the even with red. Let's start putting these numbers one by one in our grid. So 11 and 19, let me write down. 11 and 19. So they'll come across. And obviously when we add these two with 15, we'll get 45, right? Because that is the symmetry and that's the beauty of symmetry which we are uncovering. Okay. Now we are left with another odd pair 13 and 17. So let's place uh, 13 and 17. Okay, 13 and 17. So you see, I have placed these pairs with odd numbers as shown here, taking the center positions. Now we are left with four corners. You can trial, you can do trial and error and figure it out. Next pair is 12 and 18. Where should I place 12 and 18? Well, 11 is the smallest number. So, 12 should be placed very far away from the smallest number. So, let me put 12 here and 18 right across. You see that. So, we got 12 and 18 right across as you can see. Here. Correct. Now we are left with 14 and 16. So 11 was the smallest number. We'll keep 16 with 11 and 14 across. You see that. 
I really did not do any calculations. I just placed the numbers uh, logically. It may not be that logic to some, but for me, that is the logic. So what I did was I placed the set of numbers, odd numbers, right in the center first. And then diagonally, I placed the even numbers, ensuring that the bigger of that is with the smallest odd number, right? So with 11, I had 18 and 16. Let's try to add it up. 8 plus 1, 9, 9 plus 6, 5. So, 1 carry, 45. Diagonally, if I add from 18, 18 plus 20, we know, is 30. And all those sets actually form 30, right? So, with 15, it will make 45. Makes sense, right? You can check rows and columns. That will be better. So, if I check top row, 18 plus 13 plus 14, 8 and 3 is 11, 11 plus 4 is 15, and then 30 plus 15 is 45. Correct. So we notice how easily we have placed all these numbers in our magic square. That's the beauty of learning with inspired by math. Perfect. A simple square, just nine numbers. Yet, within this grid lies a perfect balance, a hidden sum that doesn't change. That's the beauty of magic squares. They teach us to look beyond the numbers and into the patterns that hold them together. Next time you see numbers in a row, ask yourself, could this be more than math? Could this be magic? That is inspired by math. Math is not just calculation. It's structure, symmetry, and wonder. Enjoy inspired by math. Inspired by Math is for curious minds, creative thinkers, and junior mathematicians ready to explore the world with numbers. Whether you're a student, a parent, or a passionate educator, this journey is for you.